As if yesterday wasn't enough, no, we're back for more. It's day two of the BC Young Scientist. <laughs> Another jam pack day here at the RT stand, and this morning, live on 2FM, it was Nikki Byrne. They are going mad here for Nikki and Jenny. Did you expect this, Jenny? Uh, actually, I did. I work with him every day, so I knew we were going to get this when we arrived today. But then, still cleaning your hands off from I that know. snake. I know. We were out holding a snake, and then it kind of it got caught in my bracelet, my wrist. <laughs> But uh, we're kind of, we're antibacterial. Uh, you know, it's been great. You know, I never came here as a, as a teenager in school. I wish I did now. Jenny is a funny story, however. She had planned to come along. What happened there, Jen? Tell everybody. Yeah, I wanted to enter this competition. Um, you're kind of even laughing as well. <laughs> what is it with that when I say it? I came home in six, in, not six year, in second year, and I said to my dad, I'm going to enter the Young Scientist the early which took me ridiculous. Look at me Honestly. now, though. Look at me now. Look at me now, here, ruining the BT Young Scientist. <laughs> Breakfast with Public are in the house. It's Bernard and Keith. How are you, Bernard? How are you? Good. Jennifer, unfortunately, can't be with us. Uh, she is one of the experiments because she's having a baby. So she's lent herself out to one of the secondary schools. She is a living experiment. Now, I have to ask you before I let you go, because we're at the Beauty Young Scientist, I have to press you for a scientific fact, something you can impress our viewers with. Every, for every reaction, there is an equal and opposite reaction. It's the only thing I remember. What's up, Marx? I am really bad at science. Fact. That's a good fact. Two amazing facts from Breakfast Republic. Guys, thank you very much. Thanks, Colin. They all want to take selfies with Mr. Brian Dobson. How are you, Brian? Very well. I'm very well. I'm thrilled to be back at the Young Scientist. What is it you like about this every year? I like the energy. Really, it is, it is the perfect post-Christmas New Year pick-me-up. I recommend to any adult, there's loads of school children here, but any adult who's never been here, come down and just, just absorb the energy and the excitement and the fantastic projects that are on display here. These ladies here are waiting for a selfie. He's all yours. Yay! Stephen and Blonder from Two Tube, how are you guys? Hello. We're very good. Very, very, very good. good. This is mad, isn't it? It's mayhem, it's mad. It's it is. We... So many people, but I have to say, it's one of the nicest crowds because we've done this for a couple of years now, and this year the crowd have been unbelievable. What are you doing down here today? I know you're doing Two Tube, is it live? Yes, we're broadcasting live here. We've got our own little studio behind, which is awesome. And all these the people are going to well. be our live crowd. Before I let you go, because it is the BT Young Scientist, I have to push you for a scientific fact. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> come on. You've been here for years. Oh. I think we should That's cut it great. there. <laughs> Previous winners of the BT Young Scientists, it's Emer and Kira from Kinsale. What are you doing back here this year? Uh, well, we're doing a bit of everything really. We're just looking forward to enjoying the exhibition, trying to spot the winner. Yeah, that's always a favourite pastime of ours. Ladies, I remember the moment that you won two years ago. I can picture it in my head. The confetti was falling down on you. You were going crazy, screaming. The crowd was going mad. What was it like to win the BT Young Scientists? Uh, winning the BT Young Scientists was probably one of the best things that happened to us in terms of like experiences that we've had from it but also um, it was so nice to see like our community so proud of us. What area of science are you thinking of at the moment? Oh god that's that's the million dollar question. I really like chemistry and mathematics but when you ask me like career wise what I want to do I always say zoology so I'm not entirely sure yet. <laughs> zoology, chemistry, I'm a bit of an astrophysicist man myself but anyway it's all down to personal taste. Ladies well done and enjoy the rest of the weekend. Thank you. Okay, you're pretty, your face is a work of art Your smile could probably light up me York She's just after coming off stage, it's the winner of the RT Social and Behavioural Award. Well done, Kate, how are you feeling? Oh, I can't believe it, it's really, really weird, yeah. Did you expect it at all? No, definitely not. 
Um, yeah, I just kind of came here hoping to kind of show my project, do my best. Yeah. Wow, and now look at this. And what was the name of your project? What was the title? Uh, my project was Cyber Contagion, the science behind the Ice Bucket Challenge. Well, Kate, we are going to catch up with you more tomorrow and find out more about your project and the conclusions that you came to. And we're looking forward to having you as our guest of honour when we bring you on a tour of RT. But for now, well done on winning the RT Award here at the BTM Scientist. That is it for day two here at the BT Young Scientist and what a cracking day it has been. More coming your way tomorrow.